friends, welcome to Cooking with Gloria. Today I am celebrating the 10,000 subscribers. Thank you so much for being part of my family. And I'm celebrating with a delicious guacamole made at home. And these are my ingredients. I have onion, aguacates, of course organic from my garden, one lemon, two tomatoes, two serrano chilies that of course you could avoid if you don't want spicy guacamole, cilantro, black pepper, salt, and this is everything you need to make this delicious guacamole at home. Thank you so much for being part of my family and for letting me keep growing. Let me start making this delicious guacamole. Okay, Diana says, hi, beautiful. Hello, beautiful. Thank you so much for being part of my family. I'm gonna start with the cilantro. And let me put this aside. Mommy Vlog says, hi, Gloria. Hello, Mommy Vlogs. Thank you so much for all your support and for always being here with me, watching my videos, me, leaving me those thumbs up. But well, we're celebrating with my family with this delicious guacamole made at home. And of course that I already made my tostadas because I really want to enjoy this guacamole. I hope you guys are having a wonderful weekend with your family. So we are at 10,000 subscribers. Yes. Thank you so much for being here with us. If you are new to the channel, I highly recommend that you subscribe because my sister makes three recipes a week that deserve to be a part of your kitchen. And you know something, this serrano chilies, I'm leaving the seeds behind because I want it nice and spicy. If you don't want a spicy guacamole, you could just remove the centerpiece and the seeds and the guacamole is gonna come out delicious and amazing. And like I always say, when you cook with love and you prepare these delicious recipes, everything comes out perfect. Oh my goodness, that already smells It smells spicy. spicy. Yes, it does. Okay. And I'm adding everything in here to this plate. Oh my goodness, it looks good. How my does friends, that look? be sure to give us a thumbs up if you like the channel, if you like what you see here, or if you watch this video after the video has posted. Thank you so much for coming to Cooking with Gloria. We are making a homemade guacamole, nice and easy. And what are our And organic, of course, with my delicious aguacates that are organic. And they are, of course, organic because they come from my sister's tree in her backyard. It's a very old tree that is now producing aguacates pretty much year round. Yeah. Year round. You have said the correct words, brother. And these look creamy and delicious. And they are so delicious. Oh my goodness, look at that. And of course, I'm gonna add the seed in here so it doesn't get nice and brown, this aguacate, guacamole. So let me add the seeds in here. You're gonna add a few to keep it from changing color? Or yes, from, from getting brown, okay. for getting oxidated. So now I'm just cutting it in little cubes. And you guys know when you celebrate in a, in a Hispanic um, family, of course, that you cannot miss your aguacate. Making this delicious guacamole, it's amazing. Look at this. Nice and cubed. Oh, it looks really good already. I'm going to continue doing the rest. So you're using four medium aguacates? Yes, four medium aguacates. And I'm using two tomatoes. To give it that two, little juicy uh -huh, juiciness. Two tomatoes, one whole onion, one um, lemon, salt and pepper. Oh my goodness. Two serranos, of course. Remember that if you don't like spicy guacamole, omit the serrano chili. I have everybody in the background waiting for this guacamole to be ready. <laughs> Look at this. It's like a, a blast of green right now. Look at uh -huh. that. The cilantro, the aguacate. When I opened my channel, I actually didn't think I was going to get to 10,000. I always kept thinking maybe one, maybe 2,000. And now I'm so amazed that my family has grown and you guys are always so patient with me and you guys are watching my videos from start to end. Thank you so much. 
this looks really, really good. And this is the part that really takes a little, a little more time. It's just a prep, though. Yes. Uh huh. So, my friends, if you are new to the channel, please subscribe. My sister makes delicious recipes three times a week, and they are worth having in your own kitchen. Thank you so much, brother. Your support. <laughs> Thank Always you so much. Your support. So my friends, this is very easy and straightforward. You need some cilantro, you need some aguacates, you need some a lemon, you need salt, pepper, and of course some onion and a little bit of tomato as well, right? Yes, uh-huh. So I think we already have this recipe on the channel as well. So make sure yes, to check it out because it's easy to make. You can, anything you have left over, you can probably have the next day because you can put it in the, uh, the in your fridge and you can have it with chips. This already looks good. And remember, my hands are clean and my apron is on. <laughs> this is the most important part, having your hands nice and clean. Now I'm going to continue with my lemon. And of course, an organic lemon. <laughs> from Everybody's your tree. Everybody's going to say, well, everything's organic with cooking with Gloria. So it's also from your tree. Yes. From your backyard. But before I add the lemon, look at this. I have chopped already the onion and the tomato and you guys miss that part <laughs> <laughs> look at this oh this looks you know why good. i chopped it before because i didn't want my my eyes to start watering my makeup to run my uh, my eyelashes, Your lashes. To come off. <laughs> of course you know okay i Ooh, am this ready okay, looks let me really good sister this. Let me add the salt I'm and the I'm already like, wow, it smells great. Look at this. And it looks amazing, brother. Doesn't so it? So you're adding the beautiful. salt and the, and pepper, the pepper, the black pepper. The black pepper. And now you're just going to add some lemon to this mix. Oh, wow. And you know something? These lemons have a lot of juice. So I'm actually just going to add one. We don't need too much. We don't want our guacamole to be nice and sour. And let me remove this. Look at this. Look how delicious this looks. All those beautiful colors. The guacamole always comes out perfect every time. So this is just chunks of, of aguacate. You're not blending it. You're not making it no, into no, a puree, no. a puree no, no. or anything like that. No, no. So and it's the, nice and, and chunky. Uh -huh, nice and chunky. And of course, you guys already know that the presentation needs to be perfect. So I am going to transfer it here to this beautiful small plate. And everybody's ready to eat it. And everybody's looking and watching me to see at what time am I going to start enjoying this delicious guacamole made at home. I made these crispy tortilla chips. And of course, as you guys already know, I am the queen of the lemonades. So I have to enjoy this delicious guacamole with a delicious and creamy strawberry lemonade. You guys already have this one on my channel here, Carlos. Thank you so let's much. Let's enjoy and let's say salud, salud for my 10,000 subscribers. Thank you so much. nice and creamy yeah it's really good. nice and delicious and so this is the part i really love and enjoy if you're here you know if you're here thank you so much if you see this video later thank you so much for being part of my family don't forget to leave me a thumbs up share this video on social media so cooking with gloria keeps growing and if you haven't subscribed well my friends subscribe so you could enjoy those delicious recipe i offer you with a lot of love especially my lemonade strawberry lemonade nice and creamy nice and delicious mm. and you know something made at home carlos you need to enjoy with me let's see how this comes out look at this you guys know that this oh, is a nice part and i chunky. really love and enjoy excuse me mm. Oh, 
amazing. They say hello, Gloria and Carlos. Hello guys, if you're watching this video after we post it, please make sure to give us a thumbs up. This is a chunky guacamole, easy to make, and of course, it's really, really delicious. Okay, what are you doing? Just for the presentation. <laughs> you guys already know that. You know something, when you look at the food, it really transports you to a lot of memories, family rem memories, family reunions. That's when you really enjoy, and when you have this guacamole, you say, I remember when my mom used to prepare it for, for us, for the family, to enjoy it, to talk, to enjoy those beautiful times with your family. Well, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for being part of Cooking with Gloria. And like I always say, peace and love.